When earbuds get close to the US $100 mark, the way we evaluate and test them starts to become more objective since people expecting to pay so much for an earphones really want the best of the best. With the success of its predecessor, the Outlier Go has got a lot to prove. So do these earphones live up to its name and is it any good? Welcome to a review of the Creative Outlier Go. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing. And if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Creative Outlier Go. So back when Creative released the original Outlier Air, I had already fallen in love with its design, which is really classy and minimal. Back then, I haven't really gotten into earbuds review, but it's one of those earbuds that I really wanted to own. So when Creative got in touch with me asking me to review one of their flagship earbuds, I said yes because I finally got a chance to try out and review one of the earbuds that I really loved. Although these earbuds were sent to me by Creative, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into when you get one of these earbuds. Creative is having a promotion on your website and these earbuds retail on the website for about 371 Malaysia Ringgit and that's about US 87. I'll leave my links in the description description below so if you're interested in getting these earbuds you can check out some of the latest prices there. The box that the earbuds come in is really very nicely designed with all the information you need to know clearly displayed for you. When you take out the earbuds from the box you immediately feel the nice cold matte plastic metal like case in your hands so the entire case doesn't feel heavy despite its built and large battery inside as the name suggests the creative outlier go comes in only one color which is this beautiful champagne gold color and the entire case feels very solid and professionally put together on the top of the case you will have the creative branding in a slightly darker shade of gold and on the sides you have a very nice classy font that says super x5 software which adds a lot of class to the earbuds and on the other end, you see a USB Type-C charge port with a whole bunch of LED indicators to tell you the status of the battery. Unlike traditional TWS cases, to reveal the earbuds, you simply push on one side of the case and it reveals the earbuds and they're ready to go, which is a very unique design compared to all the other boring TWS cases nowadays. So going to the earbuds, this is kind of where the controversy starts and depending on your ear's anatomy, this either fits you nicely or it doesn't. Some have complained that the ear tips here that Creative chose to use is a very thin and light membrane. It's quite thin in my opinion but there's a benefit for thinner membranes especially for people who are sensitive to silicone ear tips. This would be a very good option for them. Personally, the Outlier Go is one of the best fitting earbuds for me and it slips into my ear canals perfectly. So this is very similar to the Soundpeats True Shift 2 that we looked at and the shape of it really looks pretty similar. So for me personally, these type of shape really fits into my ear canal very well. But I cannot deny that although it fits perfectly due to its size, I can kind of feel that the earbuds are putting some pressure on the outside of my ears and this gives me some ear fatigue after using them for a long time. But all in all, the design of the Outlier Go earbuds is really quite beautiful. Personally, I like minimally designed products. I like the buttons which gives you a very contrasty outlook to the earbuds itself and the light ring looks very nice. And the creative logo at the side of the earbuds 
right here it's very subtle and really not in your face so speaking of the buttons of the earbuds it does feel that the buttons on these earbuds is a little bit stiff and does take quite a bit of force to press them and there's a very specific spot on these earbuds that you have to push uh, where you can feel there's a button inside there and you need to specifically press on that button to register a press and it would be nice if you can press anywhere around the earbuds and it would register a press but that is not the case for these earbuds so one of the biggest selling point of the outlier go is the impressive 14 hours of playback time per charge so comparing this to its predecessor which only gets about 10 hours of battery life this shows that creative have some awesome technology that manages to push battery performance to new heights within the same enclosure Together with the case, the Outlier Go gives you an impressive 39 hours of playback time. The downside of that is that the massive battery takes 2 hours to fully charge, and the case itself takes 3.5 hours to be fully charged. So these earbuds is also fitted with the latest Qualcomm's Bluetooth 5.0, which also supports Apex Codec, AAC, as well as SBC. So this gives you low latency, stable connection for most of your listening experience. And overall, these earbuds are also rated to be IPX5 water resistant, and in my opinion, IPX5 is quite sufficient and it's the good balance point for most day-to-day -day scenarios such as gym use, outdoor running in the rain, and really any more like IPX6 or 7 will be kind of overkill. Of course, this is not an earbuds rated for swimming use, so please don't bring them swimming. So connecting the Creative Outlier Go to your mobile phone is a very simple process. So all you're going to do is open up the case and pull out the right side of the earbuds ideally. So once you pull them out, you should start to see the earbuds flashing in blue and red. And once you see that, you can click on scan and it should start to detect the earbuds. So once you connect to one side of the earbuds, it will automatically prompt you to connect the other side as well. So it will have both of the earbuds connected to the phone like that. So once you connect both sides of the earbuds to your mobile phone, you are basically connected. So that's how you connect the Creative Outlier Go to your mobile phone. So let's get to the interesting part of these earbuds, the sound quality. So most reviews say that the Outlier Go sounds fantastic and a couple of it says it sounds terrible. So I came into this review prepared for the worst. But really to my surprise, this earbud sounds super impressive and definitely sounds like a $100 pair of earbuds. The bass of these earbuds is definitely on point. It gets loud and the low end as well as the mid bass are super impressive and radiates in your ears. So this is tested even with the stock ear tips that came inside the box but although the base is good it's not all a bit of roses but I kind of feel that the earbuds lack separation and if you listen to them you kind of feel that the mids and the highs are all jumbled up inside your ears you still get to experience the highs but I just feel that it would be better if the earbuds can separate music even better in terms of its sound stage I think the earbuds does a fantastic job in telling you the direction of the sound testing this with music with lots of instruments gives you a very three-dimensional feel and playing games like PUBG you can definitely tell where the footsteps are coming from. So overall, I think the sound quality of the Creative Outlier Go is pretty fantastic overall. So in terms of the call quality, I think the Outlier Go manages to do it decently well. It's not the best sounding call quality earbuds out there, but it does get the job done. In quiet environments, they work perfectly well, but when you do go to noisier places, there is zero environmental noise suppression. So you definitely hear the surroundings very clear, but surprisingly, your voice still comes through very clearly in those noisy environments environments and others can still hear you pretty well. So overall pretty good call quality there. Anyways, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not the Creative Outline Go is a good earbud for making phone calls. So what I'm doing now is speaking without any ambient noise in the background and you should be able to hear that my voice is coming through very clearly uh, without any problem. So what I'm going to do next is turn on a simulated background noise and you should be able to hear a difference. So now I have a simulated background noise playing in the background and you should be able to tell whether or not there is a difference and whether or not the earbuds is doing a good job trying to filter off or suppress that background noise. So anyway, this is a call policy type that you can expect from the creative outlier goal.
So with Bluetooth 5.0 and Apex support, there is really no issue with latency while watching videos on YouTube or Netflix. However, if you're playing games such as PUBG or COD Mobile, this is still not the ideal earbud today and we really hope to see transmission speed gets fast enough to support gaming fully wirelessly. So anyway, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So the outlier go offers you a full spectrum control from simple media controls all the way to volume and assistant controls and it's really quite nicely executed. So to play your pause media and pick up phone calls, simply press once on the earbuds and you will see your media play a pause. To skip forward, simply press twice on the earbuds, so like this, press twice, skip forward, skip forward and on the left side, press twice to skip backwards. So to increase the volume of the earbuds, simply press and hold the right side of the earbuds and to decrease the volume, simply press and hold the left side of the earbuds. And lastly, to call your assistant, make sure that your music is paused. Then press twice on the either side of the earbuds. So press twice, you will pull out your assistant. So again, on the left side, press twice, you pull out your assistant. So that's basically all the controls of the Creative Outlier Go. So overall, should you buy these earbuds? I would say, yeah, go for it. It does sound great. And the battery life is definitely one of the best that I've seen and the technology is good and overall looks of it is really great. So if you have the budget for a pair of Creative Outliers Go, I would say definitely buy them. So that is it for this review and if you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video to all your friends around and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.